Have you ever thought of the tulip as a choreographed organism similar to a ballerina? One that shows grace in each of the six petals adagio motions of opening and closing while protecting its mission to reproduce. Petal movements so compelling as seen with the naked eye on the exterior of the flower that actually originate in its interior through shape-shifting cell systems that allonge or expand to drive the petals open and closed. Movements so supportive of strength and a plumbic composure that they provide a second way for the seed-filled bulb plants to accomplish their objective to multiply. In case you haven't, please sit back and expand your mind through our exploration of tulips in motion. The turgidity within the tulip's petals allows the organism to thrive in many environments, opening and closing as a means of protection and reproductive purposes. The tulip petal's ability to open and close is controlled by the process of osmosis within the cell structure. Turgid pressure is caused by the osmetic flow of water from an area of low solute concentration outside of the cell and into the cell's vacuole, an area of a higher solute concentration. The changes in the hypertonic and isotonic states cause photonastic responses independent of the stimulus's position. Model explorations were conducted to further analyze various ways of replicating how the tulip's response mechanisms function. Hydraulics using air and water, tension and compression, and expansion and elasticity were used in the investigation. The microscopic mechanism that triggers the tulip to open and close was further explored and reduced to its essential components and abstracted through sketches, diagrams, and model materials. These explorations led to variations in, of repetitive units which work together to oxetically open and close. Models needed to be rigid enough to hold the form, but flexible enough to allow for a free range of motion. This ultimately led to further investigation of materials and their properties. Ideas were then tested through a series of trial and error by modeling. Discoveries made through the modeling process directed our efforts toward hydraulics and convection as a means of activation. As the process of osmosis is a cyclic one, the produced models required the ability to easily expand and contract through tension and compression. More refined models explored joints as a critical means of motion, while others focused on chain reactions, tensile and compressive materials, and points of pressure. This modeled approach emerged during an exploration of ways to expand and contract a series of forms. Hydraulic pressure is used as the trigger for a chain reaction of units working together in tension and compression. Water moves between two syringes to create a useful vertical motion which supports the developed cellular structure. Each unit relies on its surrounding units to fulfill its full range of motion from an entirely closed shape to an open frame. String is used as connective tissue allowing the radiating units to take on a structured form when fully open. This model went through a series of material explorations including types and thicknesses of wood, treatments of joints, and a method of connecting the units to each other in a minimal manner. This model emerged out of further exploration of hexagonal units formed in a honeycomb-like arrays, the most intriguing of which was an oxetic array that mimics the cellular expansion and contraction responsible for the movement of the petals in response to heat. Our goal in modeling was to focus on heat as the trigger in a similar fashion as represented by cellular turgidity. After exploring the ability of the bimetallic strip we decided to integrate it into the primary joints of the array in an effort to activate the overall structure.